Hello everyone and welcome to a survival series. So I've done this before but I deleted it because I didn't think I would do more. Uh, like, I didn't think I'd do much on it. So now that I'm kind of into the survival aspect of Minecraft, I thought I wanted to do it again. Except this time I'll do more stuff on it and this will be the actual legit series. So we're going to name this... Um, um cause cause i can <laughs> yeah we're just gonna load that up so anyways i've been thinking about my commentary style and i didn't really like it so now i think i'll start doing like stories topics and if i and once that's done i'll probably start talking about what i'm doing or probably something else but today as soon as this loads i will start off with a little story that happened two three weeks ago that my cousin actually wanted me to talk about in a video which is going to be this one soon as oh yeah by the way i am using 14 the newest snapshot that came out yesterday 14w26c and i recommend that you do not open like any any of your worlds with this snapshot because i had a survival world on my other laptop and the entire like everything was gone everything like the whole world was gone oh my God. like the whole world was gone like everything just went boom gone so i'm just gonna put this on easy because i'm not that good at minecraft itself so let's see they're pretty good just turn off clouds everything else i do pretty much i run pretty oh no i guess it's only my other laptop then huh only my other laptop you're gonna make me run good other left huh I guess but anyways let's get on with this so anyways what I want to talk about in this episode was the little story that happened I think four would be good so this story happened two three weeks ago it was my cousin's graduation it was my cousin's graduation she graduated from her high school and this is going to be really really boring <laughs> sorry I'm sorry if I'm procrastinating but um she graduated from high school so we're about to go to her house deciding what we're gonna do like we're gonna go to her house and then we're gonna go out and eat at a fancy restaurant well it wasn't really that fancy not that i think about it but a bunch of relatives her relatives came over we came over too so we but it was still a graduation we're about to leave and we're deciding who's gonna go in whose car so the puppets and i we decided to go and her brother her brother's um car with his girlfriend so we did and you know we walked there everyone was driving safely and next thing you know we get in the car we're just stuck in like traffic but we're still at the parking lot and out of nowhere we're out of gas <laughs> yeah we ran out of gas and um it's really funny like it was like an epic adventure <laughs> so to say so, so well <laughs> that's what we said so what we did is so we ran out of gas so we walked to the nearest gas station so we were walking and then we saw my mom and my dad in their car just driving to the ha or driving to the house because it was traffic when it happened and they saw us walking to the gas station like with without our car or anything and um, they, they pulled down the window and asked like what we're doing so I'm just going to do the basics of Minecraft, by the way. So, we told them that we ran out of gas, which was the truth. But my mom, like later on, she says she thought that we were just kidding. And she thought we were just going to go get some coffee or tapioca or something. So she just laughed. And <laughs> I'm trying to remember as best as I could with this. So, we're like laughing and all because <laughs> um, his girlfriend was like all complaining. Like all complaining like um she told him that they should have gotten gas before going to the graduation because they didn't have enough gas like they didn't have enough gas before going but he said he's just gonna go because he thinks that there's enough gas to go there and go back but <laughs> that didn't happen as we thought so yeah so like i said we were walk so um where was i Oh yeah, they were complaining. We were laughing. 
So my mom thought we were just going out and get st and get some drinks or something, but no. So what she did was say bye and rolled up the window. She didn't offer any help whatsoever. Like, would you like would you like us to drive or anything? It's just plain hilarious because <laughs> there's just like um. So let's say like it was like some kind of crisis situation. Like you need your par like someone to get your car. She's like, please help me, please help me. It's like no, your parents. So what they did was, wasn't really crisis, it was actually pretty funny. Like, the, the, we were just laughing as we said, like, we ran out of gas. So they didn't believe us. So my mom just pulled up the window, said goodbye, didn't offer any help at all, and just drove away. So we just kept walking and laughing about that because she didn't even offer us any help. Like, it's like she abandoned us. But it's not sad or anything, it's just plain hilarious of what we thought. So we kept walking, and then we go to the gas station, like we're finally at the gas station, and then we, so we bought like the little, t the little tank thing that you get for, like you know, if you run out of gas or something, you get those little tanks that you can't really get your car, like you can't move your car to like the gas poles or anything, so, you, you know those little gas, those bucket t gas tanks thing, I don't know what to call it. But if you know what I'm talking about, it's like that little red bucket thing where you can put in your like your gas hole, gas hole, and you know put that in. So we got that, and we went to the cashier. So um, so we just went to, up to the cashier guy, and um, let's see what was it. He's he's asking us questions like, do you know how to use this? And we're saying like, no, we don't know how to use it. And we're asking him like, do you know how to use it? And he's like, no, see, he, he was, uh, he said no, yeah, but he was Mexican too. But So he works at a gas station and he doesn't know how to use those little gas tanks. And we thought that was just plain hilarious because we thought like, if you work there, you would at least know how to use those little t tanks, those gas tanks. But he doesn't know at all. And he kept asking us questions like, do you know how to use this? We said no. He's like, are you still gonna buy this? It's like, of course we are. <laughs> like, we just ran out of gas. Like, we told him about that. And then, what else happened? Uh, he's, <laughs> so he's like, um, so do you have your car with you? And <laughs> so he can, like, help us out. He, he probably thought, like, he could move the car or something. Or help us move the car and put in the gas. But then we would have been all like, oh, we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't even be here at this gas station buying the gas tank if we had our car with us. Cause he's technically saying like we had the car with us, but no, 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 no. We wouldn't even be there if we had the car with us. We would have just put the gas inside and be on our way back to the, their house. So, <laughs> So he's like asking questions and questions like, do you know how to use it? Um, are you gonna still buy this? Do you have your car with you? And then finally, <laughs> he finally, like, we finally bought it. So we go outside, and it's because we paid for the gas too, like at the cashier guy, and he, we have to pick a spot for where we're gonna get the gas. And then, uh, we, so we just stood there, and we had no idea how to use it whatsoever, like, we didn't know how to put the gas in. No, I'll explain the rest soon. So, <laughs> it gets better. So, we didn't know how to put it in. We didn't know how to put the gas in. And so, what we did was we st we were there for like probably a good hour or two. Well, that's what we think. Like, that's how long it felt. But well, what they said was like probably an hour about the entire thing. But I'll get to that later. So... We were there, trying to figure out how to put the gas in. We see people just staring at us with like weird faces. Like they thought it was like a free spot, so people like people like wanting to get some gas. They're like driving towards where we were, and they're just looking at us all weird. And we're just like right there, standing in the middle of like the gas tank, like the little gas thing where you put where you get your gas. And um. We still had no idea how to use it at all. And what happened? So, we had to keep reading the instructions. Uh, 
I think we were about to ask for help until we just put the gas in. So, like, you just opened, like, the little top or the little handle. And you just open it up. So we just put the gas in like that because we thought it was, like, some kind of fancy way, like, to put in your gas. So we just put the gas inside the tank, like, the little container. So we put it inside there. We just filled it up, like, thinking that, um, we're probably doing this, thinking we're probably doing this wrong. And then, so we just got that. So we just got the gas like that, we um, put it, you know, back together. Some gas was like spilling out too, that was funny. So that happened, and then we were walking back to the car. So we get back to the car. Actually, my, my cousin, he saw a friend of his, and they were just talking for a while. So we finally get back to the car, and we didn't know how to put the gas inside. Like, we tried so many maneuvers of putting the gas inside the car and still had no idea We're like we had no so first we didn't know how to put didn't know how to get the gas in and then now we had no idea how to put the gas inside the car itself we thought it was so hilarious because it felt like it's been like another hour or so trying to figure out how to put the gas inside the car so Finally, they figured it out, my cousin and his girlfriend. They finally figured it out, how to put it in. Um, the Poppets and I, we tried helping. Like, we read the, we tried to read the instructions, but we still didn't know how to assemble it. So we put it together, and then put the gas in, but then every now and then the gas was spilling, so we were kind of worried about that, because we might have run out of gas, and we'd probably have to go back. You know, I could have... <sighs> so stupid. I could have made a boat. I might do it. Okay, so... No, that's too deep. Okay, so... We put the gas in, finally. We drive back to the house. And then, <laughs> we get to the house. Everyone's there. The food's there. Like, they just ordered, like, some fried rice. And, and it was, like, a little backup, because we're all, all hungry. We didn't eat it all. And then we're gonna go to the buffet, like, five hours after. And so, we got to the house. Now, my mom and dad were sitting there on the couch... And then, uh, his, my cousin's girlfriend, she's asking them, like, how's the AC? Because you know how cars have AC? And since we're in the middle of, like, since we're just outside, it was blazing hot outside. So she's asking my parents, like, how's the AC? And we're all, like, kind of sweating because it was really hot. And then they were just laughing because they thought we were joking, but really we weren't. And it was just plain hilarious because, like... Like I said before, they thought we were getting tapioca or something because there's like a tapioca place over there. <laughs> oh my god, it's funny just to remember this. So, we're just all laughing about it. We're just making fun of them about how they didn't offer us any help. Like, <laughs> they just stranded us outside in the blazing hot sun as we walked. And they, f my mom said like she felt bad because... They thought we were joking, but really we weren't. So at the end, we made it home. It was we were sweating a little bit. Uh, what else happened? This I think that's pretty much what happened. Uh, we we thought we ran out. Of, oh yeah. So let's move back a little bit. So when we were we we're going to drive home, so we put the gas in, but then like. He had like this little meter in his gas tank where it shows how much. Oh shoot! It shows how much. Oh no! It sh like he has these little bars to show how much like gas he needs. Like, does he have full tank? Does he have? Oh, yeah, it's technically full tank. So, so, so he put in the gas. We start up the car. It looks like we had. It looked like we had no gas, but. Then we just started driving to the nearest gas station just to be safe so we wouldn't be st like stuck in traffic. And then like one bar like showed up for gas. And we're like, yes. So we drove to the nearest the nearest gas station. Like not the one where we went to get the tank gas and all. We went to a different gas station that was pretty nearby. And we put gas in just to be safe. Got everything like put gave ourselves full tank and we drove back home safely so at the end of that epic adventure of walking 
uh, walking that felt like it's been hours. Oh shoot, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Uh, we finally got home. We got some food. Epic food. God, that fried roast was good. And, yeah. It was a really pretty epic adventure, if I do say so myself. Like, it's hard to believe I actually remember that from two, three weeks ago. Like, I'm pretty sure that's what happened, but I'm, I think there's a little bit more that happened that I probably don't remember. But, you know, probably they could, like, my cousin could always just tell me through Skype or when we see them on the 4th of July. Something like that. But, looks like it's 15 minutes already. So, anyways... Hope you all enjoyed this episode, or at least I hope you enjoyed this series of Minecraft Survival Let's Play with Kazu. That sounds good. But anyways, I will. S My name is Kazuta Online, where who will make you feel good about yourself? I don't know. But anyways, uh, I will see you guys on the very next video. Hopefully. I will find a spot that will be good, but most likely I might do a lot of things off camera. But I think I'll just go mining off camera, and then when I get back to you guys, I'll just start making my house and probably start talking about something else. But anyways, see you guys on the very next video. Goodbye, guys and girls. If yeah, if you're watching, hello. I wonder how many of you people. Like, who actually watch my videos are boys and girls. Like, I'm actually interested to know. Well, you don't have to type it in, because that's kind of personal if you think about it. But, yeah. Eh. See you all later. You know? <laughs> this should have ended, like, 30 minutes ago, but I'm, like, procrastinating. Trying to talk. But, yeah. See you all. Bye. Eh. You know, you probably would have left by now. I didn't expect you to stay here still. Yeah. Am I supposed to do something after this? Like, is there something you expect me to do? I'm just walking around. I don't hunger. <laughs> okay, goodbye guys.